Uh, name is Joshua Stump. The shop name is Snickers Abbey. And we opened in uh, July of 2013. A number of years ago, a bunch of tornadoes caused a lot of damage here. So after that, investors came in, started building new uh, retail stores, new housing uh, developments, great coffee shops, bars, uh, classic cocktail scenes really getting big here. And musicians and artists have all moved into the area. Me and my business partner, Chris, uh, who's out of the flu, but um, we uh, both have years of experience pastoring churches. So we started a, a bunch of churches that are catered more towards musicians and artists, um, tattooed, creative type thinking people. Um, and so I actually started smoking cigars sort of to medicate the stress of, of, of doing ministry full time. Relationally though, it became a place of conversation. It became, it became a place of building relationships and having really honest heart-to-heart -heart discussions about life. So uh, the idea behind the name, Smoker's Abbey, Abbey being sort of a classic uh, UK version of a cathedral or a church. Uh, it's just a place where smokers do life together, hang out, do life, talk about everything from politics to music to uh, relationships and religion. So we do it. Everyone's welcome. It's just free-for-all. Well, the aesthetic of it is basically I wanted a place that was uh, not intimidating to new cigar smokers. Yeah, it feels, uh, you know, kind of we were shooting for like a hunting lodge with like a hipster coffee shop, um, meeting like maybe classic library. <laughs> And then, of course, the religious element. So we have all kinds of weird iconography and statues that you know make people feel a little uncomfortable, but but then comfortable at the same point because it's sort of a little tongue in cheek in East Nashville in an artisan community. They like the idea of local. They like the idea of handmade. So we began to, to, to cater our product towards that mentality. So, okay, these are small companies that make them. They make them with passion. They make them with um, with determination. It's trial and error. There are things that don't work out. So the craftsmanship part of that really began to connect with people. Okay, so if you're going to a bar, <laughs> you want to go to uh, Rumors East which is right down the street, Five Points. It's a wine and fine cocktail bar. Um, there's a great bartender there named Andrew, and they also sell boutique cigars uh, that we have supplied them with, and they have a great outdoor courtyard for smoking, fire pits, and it's really relaxing. You get dinner there, too. It's a great hot chicken place right up the street from us called Pepper Fire, and a guy named Isaac, who's a cigar smoker and a, and a client, um, runs that. And uh, there's also lots of barbecue places. You kind of have to search them out. Some of them don't look quite like you would want to go in there, but it's really fantastic barbecue. Yeah, there's one right up the street called G's Barbecue. Um, it's just owned by a small family. He pulls a smoker around in the back of his truck, sits it up in the parking lot in the morning, starts cooking, and he's, he's serving. So that's a, it's a good vibe. We like G's.